because we want to evaluate the quality we want to evaluate the quality of a summary while the original content is not, not a summary obviously. Then um, we chose uh, these uh, three video items and uh, we created summaries based on the algorithms that I just showed with a duration between 10 and uh, 15 minutes. We chose a rating method where each participant had to evaluate two summaries and an original version of your questionnaire. A balanced video item and algorithm distribution was ensured as we, sh we show every, every video item and algorithm equal amount of time to all the equal amount of times to all of the participants and we made sure that non uh, participant will watch one um, video item or one algorithm twice. Uh, this, uh, uh, this is simply a combinatorical problem which was solved and we, uh, we uh, recruited 36, 36 uh, participants from uh, high-tech campus Eindhoven and Technical University Eindhoven. And now I'll, I'll uh, show the most uh, interesting uh, results. First, uh, about the user understanding. It was evaluated through two different kinds of questions. The first type, is, we ask, uh, for the first type, we ask the participants in the user test to write a summary of the video that they have just seen. This, these written summaries were then evaluated by two different uh, people and the, the scores that they give were average and normalized to the 0-1 interval. The other type of questions were multiple, qu uh, multiple choice questions about um, the content of the, of the movie like what happened to this and that character in this particular moment. And um, they, they were graded 1 for a correct answer and 0 for, for a wrong answer. If there, is, uh, if there were more than one uh, correct question, then the grade of 1 was distributed among all the, all the possible correct answers. These two scores were then they combined in understanding score. And the results, uh, the results are shown in uh, this uh, in this figure. Um, as we can see, the full version, as uh, can be expected, uh, offers the the user the high the highest level of user understanding, followed uh, from the subtitle script and the uh, subtitle algorithm. We perform further analysis of variance and in order to prove the statistical significance of this data and, uh, well, we found a significant main effect for, for variable algorithm. We performed this analysis with the fixed variables algorithm and video, uh, video item and uh, dependent variable score. Uh, on this table here, we can, we can compare the understanding of our algorithms to the understanding of the storyline. Apparently, script subtitles, subtitle script algorithm for 87% of under understanding of the storyline, while subtitles only 79%. Then we evaluate the user satisfaction in terms of informativeness, consistency, continuity, and uh, length. We use a set of statements with a scale range and uh, I'll present uh, some of the results uh, here. For, uh, first question, uh, first statement, the storyline was easy to follow while, while watching the summary. Uh, we can see in the figure that users consider the subtitles and subtitle script algorithm easier to follow than, than, the, random, than the random version. We again perform analysis of variance to, to prove the statistical significance of uh, this data. The next statement concerned uh, consistency of the summary. After the analysis of variance, we found a significant main effect for the variable algorithms, which, which uh, proves that subtitles and subtitle script based are more consistent than a random summary. 
The next statement uh, is about the amount of scenes that do, do not add value in the understanding of the storyline, or may, they are just redundant in the summary. Uh, we, we can see here, again, the users consider subtitles and subtitles group based algorithm. Uh, they think that they have less, fewer scenes that uh, do not add value to the storyline. We prove the statistical significance of, of this data again. Uh, next question concerns watching the, the, the summary, uh, watching the original version after watching the summary. What, uh, what is shown here is that there is a big variance in, in user opinion. You, you cannot see some, some uh, stable, stable uh, values. And that's what we found, that there is, uh, these results are not, not statistically significant. In order, if you want to, to make conclusions about, uh, about this statement, we have to, perfor uh, to perform the user test on more and more subjects. So the um, long story short, user understanding, we uh, found out that subtitle script based summary produces best understanding of the storyline. It covers the understanding of the original version at 87%, while the subtitle based uh, method achieved only 79% um, uh, coverage which, which means actually the user understanding that uh, a participant has after watching the full version. Uh, which didn't uh, met our requirements for 85% uh, um, storyline coverage. And difference of mean score of subtitle based and random algorithm couldn't be proved statistically significant, unfortunately. About the user satisfaction, the overall user satisfaction was higher for subtitle-based and subtitle script-based algorithms, and we proved that our uh, our method methods, the summary created by our methods, are easier to follow. They are more consistent, and um, they have fewer fewer uh, scenes that do not add value to the storyline. Uh, now I came to the conclusions. What we presented in this thesis is actually automated video content analysis and summarization framework. We proposed a method and then we implemented a pro prototype to prove that this uh, method actually works. And we then uh, validate our results through user test study and, and show that our algorithm provides understanding that is comparable to the original version and the user are satisfied with those summaries. <coughs> um, now maybe some directions about uh, the future work on, on this topic. First um, is improving scene, seg scene segmentation. Now we use a really simple simple approach to segment uh, the movie into sub-scenes. We just uh, uh, look at the gap of silence between two subtitle elements. Uh, well, a better...